Buongiorno a tutti, Bira Moretti, l'autentica. Va bene, bellissima. So, here we go. I've had, I've never had this before. I think I've had it in bottles in Italian restaurants and, and in Italy, but not on draft. Lots of bubbles in the glass. So it's crystal clear, it's a very, very pale gold, yellow. It looks quite thin and watery. <laughs> There's quite a bit of carbonation, medium rising bubbles we'll say. I don't know if it's a nucleated glass. It's a beautiful glass. The, the Bira Moretti L'Autentica. Did I say I've had the, I've had the La Rosa, which is their bock. It's actually a double bock. That is one of my favourite beers. It's beautiful. And their Bafo d'Oro, which is a very malty beer. And that is it's like my top ten beers, I think. It's beautiful. But this one... Here it goes, let's have a wee smell. It's, it's bready malt. White bread. White bread crust, we'll say. It smells quite pleasant. Not a great deal of hoppiness, or. Cheers, my dears. It's okay. Start with the positives. It's cold and it's wet. Try to think of any more positives. Not really. There's not a great deal of flavour, so that's slightly bready maltiness. It's it's very crisp and refreshing. I think that's what it's, it's meant to be. That's its job. It's the it does the taste doesn't hang around. It's supposed to quench your thirst on a hot day. That's what it's made for. It's not a bad beer, but it's it's not as good as the La Rosa or Bafodoro. It's passable. I only bought it because. I wanted to try it on the sub. Uh, would I buy it again? <laughs> no. I mean, if i seen it in the restaurant, that was the only thing they had, I would, I would buy it. But, it doesn't do anything for me. It's, it's it'd be great at a barbecue or something like that. Anyway, is it worth looking on the website? <laughs> Okay, it's I bought this from Beer Wolf. It's nine ninety nine for a two liter torpedo. Uh, Beer Amaretti is one of the world's most beloved lagers, and with good reason. Light, refreshing, and easy to drink. This beer is not only great for sh sharing with loved ones, but also a classic pub pint. Brewed traditionally with barley malt, this timeless brew is one of our best-selling cakes. Details. 4.6%. What have I got there? 4.6. I don't know if you're just picking that up. I forgot to move my microphone. I hope that's picking me up. Okay, hello. Uh, it's from Italy. Malt is just a barley malt, that's what it says. Serving rice in a, a pint glass. <laughs> Delicious with salted fried mushrooms and young cheddar. So, it is what it is. It's not offensive. Just take some screenshots there. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Anyway.
It's only three and a half pints. I can work my way through that. No problem. Thanks for watching. In their lovely glass. Cheers, my dears. I'll see you next time. That's quenched my thirst.